As the pandemic crippled global output, the Earth drew breath. A rare silver lining was a pause in the carbon emissions, which have caused the atmosphere to heat up. But a pause is not a trend. The International Energy Agency today said a surge in economic activity this year will all but wipe out the gains of last. The burning of gas and coal is rising to above pre-pandemic levels. More than four-fifths of the rise in demand is coming from Asia, mostly China, although the US and Europe will also see increases. This week, the UN Secretary General warned of a triple crisis. A climate crisis, a biodiversity crisis and a pollution crisis. And if we don't act immediately, we are, as I said, on the verge of the abyss. There is no time to lose. Rising temperatures have seen catastrophic and extreme weather events, such as flooding, freak snowstorms and forest fires. These events say experts are becoming more and more commonplace. On Thursday, the Biden administration will host a virtual two-day World Leaders Summit, signalling a return to US prominence on the issue, following President Trump's disdain for climate science. President Biden wants leaders to make ambitious pledges on cutting emissions ahead of the UN Climate Change Summit in Glasgow in November. Ahead of this week's summit, EU member states and the European Parliament are locked in last-minute negotiations on a new law that would make a 2030 target of a 55% net emissions cut legally binding. Tony Connolly, RTE News, Brussels.